Hi, I'm Wendy Wolf with God's Light Story Painting. I am an artist that translates the Bible. Now, I translate the Bible into speakable visual images. I call them biblical story paintings. And these are built so that you can share God's Word anywhere in the world, regardless of language or any other kind of border. So, um, I'm going to demonstrate for you today a storytelling of uh, this painting, Noah's Ark. And um, I hope you enjoy it. It's a kind of a storytelling format. And um, it'll just give you an idea of an example of, of, of what this is intended for. And uh, we'll begin uh, with Noah's Ark, uh, beginning with Genesis 6. So, after God cast Adam and Eve from the garden, mankind began to populate the face of the earth. And as mankind's numbers increased, the sons of God saw the daughters of men were fair, and they made wives of them. And then those wives bare them children, and those men were giants. They were mighty warrior men, mighty men of renown that walked the face of the earth, and all of mankind became nothing but evil, violent, wicked. Well, when God looked down upon what his creation had become and saw how vile and wicked it was, it broke his heart. He looked at it and was, I will wipe it away, wash it clean with a giant flood. I'll just kill everything. It all got to be gone. Got to be washed away. I can't have this. But then God remembered Noah. Noah was a righteous man. He walked with God continually. Oh, God loved Noah. And God thought, oh, I can save just a little bit. So God said, Noah, Noah, I have decided to destroy the earth and everything on it with a giant flood. But I have also decided to spare you, you and your family, and pairs of species of every animal that creeps, crocs, wa walks, flies upon this earth. So Noah, now listen to me. I need you to build an ark. Noah, yes, Lord. And God said, Noah, I want you to make it out of cypress wood and pitch. Now I need you to make it 300 cubits long. That big? Yeah, that big. 50 cubits wide, 30 cubits high. Listen, Noah. You pitch it inside and outside. Pitch it good. Seal it up. And then inside of it, build pens and cages. All men are things to hold the animals I'm sending you. And I know I'm going to need you to go, and after you're done with that, collect up all kinds of food to feed yourselves and the animals for your journey on the ark. Well, now Noah got busy. And Noah did like God commanded him. And Noah built the ark, and he collected all the food for it. And then God lit the way for the animals, and they came, two by two, to the ark. The male and his female, seven pair of clean animals, one pair of unclean animals of every species on the earth. The birds in the air, the creepy crawlies, all the animals, every species, pairs of them came to the ark. And in seven days, the ark was loaded. And then the door of the great ark was closed and sealed. And then, and then, the earth shook, began to shake and rumble, and the fountains of the deep burst forth with water. And the windows of the heavens opened, and it began to rain. And it rained, and it rained, and the ark rose off the ground, and it rocked and rocked in the tempest of the waters. And it rained for 40 days and 40 nights until the highest mountain peaks were completely covered with water. And everything, everything that had had the breath of life in it, died. Well then, then God remembered Noah and the occupants of the ark, and he sent a warm wind across the surface to calm the waters. And the ark rocked, rocked on the water. And then he plugged fountains of the deep and he closed the windows of the heavens. And the ark rocked gently, gently on the water until boom, it came to rest in the mountains of Arad. Well, Noah, Noah's family, they ran. 
standing up and they looked out and man, but everywhere, everywhere, water. And so they waited. Noah waited until he saw peaks of the mountains begin to show. And he sent out a raven. And that raven went back and forth, back and forth across the waters. And he waited seven days and he sent out a dove. Now this little dove, she went back and forth, back and forth, but she couldn't find any place to rest her little feet. She came back to Noah in the ark and he drew her in and it's all right, it's all right. And he waited. And he waited seven days and he sent her out again. Poof. And this time she went back and forth, but when she returned, she had an olive branch in her mouth. And Noah, he drew her in and saw that olive branch and he knew, he knew that earth was coming alive. And he held on to her and said, it's all right, it's all right. And he waited. He waited seven more days and he sent her out again. And this time, this time, this time, that little dove, she didn't return, she found her home. And Noah knew, he knew it was time. And so the seal of the great ark was broken. Door opened. And Noah and his family and all the animals came out onto a world that was vastly different and wiped clean And Noah was so very, very thankful to God that he took of all the clean animals that they had brought in and he built a sacrificial altar and he sacrificed animals to God. And when he sacrificed those clean animals, sacrificed and sacrificed, the scent reached the heavens and Father God. Father God was so very, very happy that he said, I will never again destroy the earth with a flood. And so he said, Noah, 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 be fruitful and multiply upon the face of the earth, you and your descendants, and the descendants of all the animals you have brought upon the ark. And Noah, I'm telling you, I will never again, I promise you, I will never again destroy this earth with the flood. And as a reminder of that promise to you, I place my bow in the sky. And that is the story. Of Noah's Ark. Now, um, if you're interested in finding out about uh, more about our biblical story painting genre, and if you'd like to perhaps uh, get a print for yourself, they come in different sizes. Every one of these prints that I sell comes with a written narration to walk you through it, and there are hidden pictures buried in this that correlate with the story. Uh, if you're interested, you can go to godslightstorypainting.com. Again, that's godslightstorypainting.com. Um, my contact information is there and purchase information and all kinds of stuff. Thank you so much. Um, God bless you. And please remember, be the light.